really cool new research that was published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition that was looking at brain atrophy and the vitamin intervention that can stop or slow brain atrophy and actually improve cognitive function. So when you take specific vitamins, sure, it can have an impact on the brain, but a lot of times they are dependent on sort of these cofactors or sort of the co-administration with other things. So what I'm gonna talk about today is really this one vitamin that seems to be super good for the brain, particularly B vitamins. Now, I'm gonna tell you immediately what the B vitamin is, but I wanna tell you what this research talks about because if you just take the B vitamin alone without making a conscious effort to improve other levels of things, it literally doesn't work. And that's what this study just found. It's so, so unbelievably cool. Anyway, you've gotta check this stuff out. It's from one of my favorite companies, RX Sugar. This is called their Fiber Pro. And this is an allulose fiber blend. So we're talking something that can really trigger a heavy GLP-1 response. This is working on multiple different axes to ultimately reduce appetite. So allulose is probably the most well-documented supporter of GLP-1 activity in the body from a natural perspective. So allulose is not an artificial sweetener. It's coming, it's a rare sugar that's in like figs and dates, and they concentrate it into a form like this, where you're getting a legit GLP-1 effect that's making you satiated. So before a fast, it's a great thing to try because it just curbs your appetite. But what I'll do is I'll use it prior to going out to dinner or something like that, and I kid you not, within like 15, 20 minutes, my appetite's probably about 30 to 40% less. So it's a real thing, it's not pseudoscience, there's legit evidence behind allulose and how it affects GLP-1, and then very legit evidence behind fiber and how that affects GLP-1, not to mention they put some probiotic strains in it that are very effective at helping that GLP-1 response as well. So RX Sugar is paving the way with a lot of really cool metabolic research and some of the top names in the industry are behind them, guys like Dr. Dom Diagostino. So I put that link down below and that is for 40% off, legit 40% off their RX Sugar Fiber Pro. So check them out in that top line of the description underneath this video. This is gonna like blow the doors off of some of these other fiber products because this is not just fiber, it's truly for satiety as well. So that link down below for 40% off. So the B vitamin part is simple. It's two B vitamins, B9, folate, and B6, which is critical for neurotransmitter function. But the thing is, is that this study showed us something very interesting. They gave subjects that had mild cognitive impairment, they gave them a B vitamin complex or a placebo, and they followed them for two years. And after two years, what they found is that the B vitamin did not do much at all, had pretty much no effect on cognitive impairment if omega-3 levels were not elevated. So if omega-3 levels were elevated in the serum, like they were taking an omega-3 supplement or eating high amounts of omega-3, then the B vitamins worked and actually improved brain function. But if their omega-3 levels were low, the B vitamins did not work. So that's the problem we face with sort of a myopic view at like vitamins, right? We look at vitamins, we say, oh, a B vitamin is good for the brain because in a Petri dish, it does this. This is a classic example of understanding how what happens in vitro in a cell, in a culture, doesn't necessarily translate directly to what's happening in a human. So when you look at this over two years, this data was so cool. So now we know that to get the neurotransmitter effect of B6, to get the homocysteine modulation effects of B6, to actually get the alertness, even in the short term and in the long term, we need to have adequate levels of omega-3. So what does that look like as far as supplementation or diet? The simplest way to describe it is the diet, right? But who on earth is going to get adequate adequate amounts of omega-3 from their diet these days. Fun fact, if you go and you get omega-3 rich eggs or omega-3 rich meat, it's such a small amount of ALA that it's not going to really do much of anything. Sure, it's higher omega-3 than grain-fed, and that's great, but it's not really doing much. So you really do need to be eating a like decent amount of fish, which is just unrealistic for most people, unless you're like living in the Mediterranean or you really like fish. So here's a little guide on fish oil. Try to look for fish oils that are not in ethyl ester form. It should say it on the label. Okay, most of them are in ethyl ester form. You wanna find them in triglycerol form. Okay, so just avoid ethyl ester. If it doesn't say ethyl ester, you're good. It'll say in ethyl ester. Try to find one that has a decent amount of DHA. So DHA, when we're talking about cognitive decline, 
seems to be the most important, especially for neurodegenerative conditions, right? DHA, we've talked about for a long time, docosahexaenoic acid, as being what is good for membrane fluidity within the brain and modulation of inflammation within the brain. Now, EPA, eicosapentaenoic acid, is very, very good too at sort of the global modulation and inflammation. Which leads us to explain, like, why does fish oil improve B vitamin utilization in the brain? It probably has to do with the reduction of inflammation. If we can bring inflammation down, the B vitamins can do their job. But what about V vitamins? What should you be taking? Should be popping B9, folate, and B6? Well, those two seem to be the ones that are exceptionally good for the brain. And they work very well with neurotransmitter function. So they help the neurotransmitters pack a more powerful punch. Okay, remember, neurotransmitters are electrical signals. Okay, so they're neurochemicals and they're neurotransmitters and they work hand in hand, the chemical side and the electrical side. The B vitamins help out the conductivity in a lot of ways. So, but if there's so much inflammation, how does that electricity actually conduct anything, right? There's so much static. So if the omega-3s are modulating that static, then that can pack a powerful punch. So it's so funny, like you can take a five hour energy and get your B vitamins and pretend that the B vitamins are helping your brain, but in reality, it's the caffeine that's helping your brain, right? So what I suggest with that is take a B complex, okay? B vitamins are one of those things where you can mega dose a certain B vitamin and possibly get an effect like B1 on carbohydrate utilization. Yeah, and that's kind of fun, but you have to be like a full-time biohacker to almost do that. Take a B-complex, it's water-soluble, you're likely not going to overdo it. I would almost take a little bit more than what it says, because B vitamins are so simple and they just, what you don't use, you urinate out, that's why your pee is yellow but take it with an omega-3. The good news is you don't need to be taking an omega-3 and a B vitamin at the same time. Although you can potentially get a short-term effect from omega-3s, we're talking more about overall blood levels, okay? So take your omega-3s when available, when you can. I personally take cod liver oil because I like the vitamin D, I like the vitamin A, and I like the overall omega-3 sort of composition of it. The ratio of EPA to DHA is great, in my opinion, with cod liver oil. Second in line, I would say krill. Next in line, I would say calamarine, which comes from calamari, from squid. And then after that, start going like anchovy, things like that, and the regular fish oils. And then with the B vitamins, take maybe, you know, normal dosage, maybe a little bit more. The B vitamins you can take multiple times throughout the day because they're so water soluble. As long as the omega-3 levels are constantly high and stable, then you can periodically use the B vitamins for a little boost. So as always, keep it locked in here on my channel, and I'll see you tomorrow.